Welcome to Plantless Plus Pictures. For those who love plants and flowers, Plantless Plus Pictures captures the memory and beauty of plants and flowers, whether it be in the wild or in your favorite garden. Use Plantless Plus Pictures to record and inventory your garden, or capture pictures and memories when visiting other gardens. Use Plantless Plus Pictures to make a flower finder or a plant finder of your favorite hike, and then share it with other users of Plantless Plus Pictures. Let's take a look at our opening screen. You can see Plant List Plus at the bottom. There is a button that points to an overview. In the upper right, there is an icon for additional text, help text for each screen. And in the upper left, underneath the hamburger icon, is our main menu. So let's take a look at our main menu. The first item is Plant Lists. Clicking on Plant Lists, what you see here is a set of plant lists that come with the app. Tapping on My Garden Demo, we take a look and see that here we have a list of plants that are on this plant list and you can see the very first item is a unknown ID later. We'll talk more about that when we're taking pictures but basically this is a pseudo plant to basically capture pictures that we're going to identify later on. Let's explore this plant list a little bit more. We're going to flick the screen to go to the bottom of the list and we're going to tap on Penstem Environs. The app now displays plant data for this Pinstem Environs. Description and family information come from our plant dictionary. Up on the top are three icons for the USDA, Google Images, and Wikipedia. When tapping on those icons, the app will exit out to those internet resources and bring in additional information. When using Plantlist Plus Pictures as a flower finder out in the field, what we can do is we can use this checkbox to capture latitude and longitude and store that with the plant list. Once captured, the GPS coordinates can also be sent to Google and Apple Maps to help you navigate to that location. The camera icon at the bottom calls the device camera to take a picture. When pictures are taken from this screen, the picture is automatically labeled and added to the plant list. When pictures have been taken are available for this plant, then a pictures button is displayed where you can see the picture and also change its attribute. So let's click on observed and capture that information. After checking the observed checkbox, the app returns to the list of plants on the plant list and you can now see that there is a checkbox in the green circle to the left of Pinstem Environs. So let's take a look at some of the other functions that are available for this plant list by clicking on the three dots uh, in the upper right and that displays our secondary menu. We'll take a closer look at picture album but we'll save export, print and some of the other uh, features that we have on this secondary menu for other videos but before leaving I just want to point out screen help at the bottom. Tapping on that will display a screen with all sorts of information about the functions that are currently available. Tapping on picture album, what the system now does is it builds a stack of thumbnail pictures and as you can see you can scroll through this list and also note that the name of the uh, plant is superimposed on top of the picture. The very first one here is unknown ID later and this was a picture that was taken uh, outside of an uh, individual plant or outside the plant list itself and what we now can do is if we tap on this thumbnail we'll get the full size image. Taking a look at the full image, you can see at the top we have our plant name, still as unknown, we'll ID it later. Uh, to the left we have a uh, back or return arrow, and then to the right we have an information button. Tapping on the information button, we get the information about this picture, where we can change its name, what plant list it exists on, uh, we can save it to the photo gallery, that is the photo gallery that's on the device, where we can then use uh, other apps to share it or uh, back it up. And then finally, a button at the bottom to delete the picture if we no longer like it. So this is a picture of the Aqualegia jonesii growing in our uh, garden. And I'm going to tap the edit icon on the first line. And what we now have is a list of all the plants that are in our dictionary. Um, Aqualegia jonesii is farther on down, so I'm going to hit the filter button. That'll pull up a little dialog where I can type in the word jones. and apply that as a filter. The system returns a 
filtered list of our dictionary, and you can see here are all the Jonesii. And I'll tap, tap Aquilegio Jonesii, and now you can see our name has been relabeled, and it'll return us back to the list of plants in our plant list. And here we can see Aquilegia jonesii. If I go back to the uh, picture album, I now have Aquilegia jonesii as part of my stack of thumbnail pictures. This concludes Plant List Plus Pictures Overview Part 1. Check out our YouTube channel for Part 2. In that video, I'll discuss how you can use your device camera to take pictures and have them automatically be labeled and added to a plant list. Thanks for watching. Hello again. If you've enjoyed this video, find the like button and give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Safe travels while exploring, and remember, leave no trace. Happy trails!